Greetings from Manitoulin Island, and welcome to Parkinson's disease, Recovery as Possible. I'm Fred Phillips, and I'm a person living with the symptoms of Parkinson's. And contrary to conventional thought, I believe it's possible to recover. And this video series is about my journey, what I've learned along the way, and the protocol I've developed, and daily regimen I've developed to recover my, my health. Today I'd like to talk about constipation. Before I begin, I'd like to point out that uh, as it comes to dealing with all the symptoms I experience, my objective is not to overcome them, it's to manage them. I really don't think it's possible to overcome any one symptom without overcoming the disease itself. So my objective is to learn how to manage them effectively. Now, as it relates to constipation, the cause of the symptom really is similar to the cause of why we have difficulty swallowing. And that's because as the disease progresses, our interior muscles lose their motility. So like our muscles in our throat lose motility, making it more difficult for us to swallow, the muscles in our digestive tract make it lose their motility, making it more difficult to pass food particles and undigested food particles through the intestines into the colon and out of the body. So my objective really is to do th three things. Number one is to uh, soften the stool and moisten it, and number two, uh, moisten the stool to make it easier to pass. And number three, to make the stool larger, which sends a signal to the colon to pass the stool. So there's four basic things I do to accomplish this. And in addition to these four basic things, I also take supplements. So the first uh, and perhaps most important aspect of this is diet. And for me, the diet that works effectively is uh, a high fat diet. I'm not sure that it would be considered a ketogenic diet, but it's high fat and high protein. And the reason I'm on a high fat, high protein diet is because I have an intolerance to sugar. I can't, toler I can't tolerate sugar of any kind, even natural fruit sugar. And as I understand it, the, the sugar makes me sick. And as I understand it, the reason this is the case is because uh, as we're, the symptoms of Parkinson's are progressing, uh, and when we're in a state of uh, fight or flight, our body is constantly producing cortisol. Cortisol is an insulin suppressor. Insulin is the enzyme that's involved in digesting sugar. So basically, my body doesn't uh, digest sugar properly, and, and that's why I end up feeling sick. So if I have even a small amount of sugar, I'll wake up the following morning feeling like I'm hungover. So for me, the, the, the carnivore diet works really well. The other benefit of the, the carnivore diet, for, or not carnivore, but high-fat, high-meat diet, is that there's far less fiber in my diet. And it's really fiber that is mostly undigested that passes through our system and forms the bulk of our stools. So my stools are actually a lot smaller in general and I have fewer stools to pass. Second thing I do is drink a lot of water. Water, of course, helps uh, moisten the stools and soften the stools, making them easier to pass. So I drink a lot of water, usually six to eight cups a day. Thirdly, uh, the, the third thing that helps in digestion and passing stools is exercise. Exercise speeds up the digestive process, and therefore the food particles spend less time in the intestines, therefore they, they dry out less and they, they tend not to harden, they tend to be softer. So exercise is really beneficial as well. And the other thing I do uh, is I do my best to minimize stress. Stress causes the, the muscles in the body to constrict, thereby making uh, um, the intestines, they, they, again, they lose their motility, so they're, they're not able to move food particles along as well and pass them out of the body. So I do my best to minimize stress. Even with all of this, I still have occasional bouts of constipation. And so what I do to minimize this symptom as much as possible is I take vitamin C and magnesium. The role of my vitamin C and magnesium is to draw water into the intestines and, and therefore um, moistening and softening the stools, making them easier to pass. So in the morning at breakfast, I take 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C in powder form. 
and I also take uh, 500 milligrams of magnesium malate. The reason I take ma magnesium malate in the morning is malate is an energizer, so it helps to give me energy for the day. At dinner time, I take another 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C, and I take 300 milligrams of magnesium ox uh, citrate. Citrate is a relaxant, so it helps me to relax. And at bedtime, I take another 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C and 500 milligrams of magnesium biglycinate. Biglycinate helps me sleep. It's one of the reasons why I tend to sleep fairly well. One caution uh, that I've learned as far as taking vitamin C, if I take too much of it, I'll get cramps and a little bit of diarrhea. So I kind of have to be careful each day in terms of how much I take, because I will adjust it depending on what's in my diet and how much meat is in my diet. If I tend to have a day where I eat more red meat, I'll eat a little, I'll take a little more vitamin C as well. I just have to be careful that I don't take too much to uh, give me cramps and uh, diarrhea. So there you have it. That's what I do to, to uh, manage constipation. Uh, as overall, I, I'm pretty good with it. I don't have a lot of issues, but I have had a couple of uh, uh, difficult moments, if you will. But for the most part, as I said, I do, I do okay. I don't really have an issue with constipation. So again, diet, uh, lots, of, lots of water, lots of fluids, exercise, minimize stress and take vitamin C and magnesium, and that will go a long way towards minimizing any issues you might have with constipation. I hope that helps. If you like what you've heard today, please hit the subscribe button below and the notification button if you want to be notified of future videos. Uh, thank you for joining me on this journey. If you uh, have any questions or if you'd like to share your own experiences, please see my email below or visit my blog where you'll find over 500 posts on my experience with uh, Parkinson's. See you next time, and in the meantime, have an awesome day. May you be healthy and content. Cheers.